Good morning, everyone. I apologize for our delay. We are getting our technical things corrected here at Northern California, the Middletown Community United Methodist Church on this, the first Sunday in October 2006, and 2024 on October 6th. So we are asked to read from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 37 through 39. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those who were sent to you, how often I have wanted to gather your people together just as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. But you didn't want that. Look at your house. Look. Your house is left to you, deserted. I tell you, you won't see me until you say, blessings on the one who comes in the Lord's name. We ask that blessing. And from Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Sarah McCall of South Carolina writes for Close Communion. On a recent Sunday morning at the worship service, as it was about to begin, I saw a toddler a few rows in front of me, curled up tight in the arms of his father. The little child leaned in so close his father's, to his father's face, it seemed as though they were breathing the same breath. I could see the love they shared. Then the child pushed closer still and kissed the father's cheek. The scene made me think about communion in a new way. Communion is not just about recognizing Christ's sacrificial gift or simply confessing our sin and asking for his wonderful grace and forgiveness. It's also about coming in close and feeling the warm presence of Christ as he offers us new life. Because of this simple demonstration of love between a father and a child, communion will now forever bring me closer to Christ's deep abiding love. Christ desires close communion with us, not just at those special times, but every day. The prayer is, in the special times in our everyday living, O Christ, may we feel your abiding presence, breathing new life into us. Amen. And the prayer focuses for Christians around the world. And the thought for the day is, I can experience communion with Christ every day. May you take time to connect to the living Christ in this magnificent world God has given us. And hopefully you'll join us in about a minute and a half or two and a half minutes for our prelude to our new life service, which begins at 10 a.m. Pacific time. God bless you. And happy World Communion Sunday. Amen.